BJ's Wholesale Club is an American membership-only warehouse club chain that opened in 1984. Thank you for your suggestion. Please. You know what they're asking for. Please, can I have it? TVs, stereos, camcorders, and of course those incredible video games. I can't beat this kid. So who do they think you are, Mr. Moneybags? Santa Claus? Oh. Lucky for you, Please. nobody gets it like BJ's. BJ's has all the big names in home entertainment at ridiculously low prices. It's BJ's Wholesale Club, where MasterCard is always welcome. Don't forget the batteries. Nobody gets it like BJ's. Discount department store chain Zares introduced the warehouse club concept to New England by founding BJ's Wholesale Club in 1984. The famous BJ initials actually came from Beverly Jean Wyke, the daughter of the original owner and first president of the company, Mervyn Wyke. In 1984, they opened three 100,000 square foot facilities Patterned after such competitors as Price Club and Walmart's Sam's Club, BJ's typically offered a wide array of merchandise in self-service no-frills facilities. The establishments can find product choice to brand name leaders and refuse to accept credit cards. Its goal was to achieve high sales volumes and rapid inventory turnover, attracting customers from supermarkets, discount stores, office supply stores, consumer electronics stores, automotive stores, and the wholesale distributors and jobbers. The reference to wholesale in the company's name was primarily a marketing device, for the operation was directly principally, if not wholly, towards retail sales. As a membership club, BJ's charged his customers an annual fee. This fee was originally $30, it dropped to $25 for a time, but the $30 membership fee was eventually reinstated. By mid-1987, 15 BJ stores were in operation in the East and the Midwest, and annual sales rose from $350 million in 1986 to $580 million in 1987. The company, however, posted a loss. Mervyn Wyke resigned at the end of June of 1987 and was replaced by John Levy. By the end of 1988, the number of BJ stores had grown to 22 in 11 states. Sales volume reached $827 million that year, placing BJ's fifth in the nation among warehouse clubs. In late 1989, its stock consisted of about half food and half general merchandise, with small business representing about 10% of the customers, but about half of the total sales. A representative store saw 3,500 items in bulk, including television sets, exercise equipment, power tools, clothing, books, tires, and houseware. Goods were typically stacked almost to the ceiling on steel racks. Profitability remained elusive, however, even though sales reached $1.1 billion in 1990. In the face of stiff competition from other warehouse clubs entering New England and the mid-Atlantic states, BJ's had been forced to restrict its markup to only 8 to 10 percent above cost. An industry analyst said that although the club had cut costs to the bone and raised efficiency, it was failing to attract repeat business because it was not introducing new products. Following Zare's acquisition of Home Club, it was consolidated with BJ's into a single warehouse club division. This division became Waban Inc. in 1989, the year Zare, which was renamed TJX Companies, spun it off as a separate company. BJ's, which had grown to 28 stores by mid-1991, had added fresh meat departments and in-store bakeries to its stores. In 1992, BJ's reached the sales volume of $1.7 billion, but average sales of $48 million for its 39 stores trailed the results posted by competing warehouse club chains. 
EJ's Wholesale Club, meanwhile, had 52 stores in 12 eastern seaboard states, ranging from Maine to Florida, at the end of 1993. It also had 2.6 million club members, and the average store occupied 110,000 square feet. In August of 1997, Waban would spin off BJ's, which would become an independent company known as BJ's Wholesale Club Inc., while Waban would be renamed Home Base Inc. By the year 2000, BJ's former parent company, Zare Stores, were either closed or converted into Ames Stores, who in turn would be out of business by 2002. BJ's would change ownership and go back and forth between private and publicly owned company over the next 20 years. In 2011, BJ's was acquired by two private equity firms, Leonard Green & Partners and CVC Capital Partners, and would be taken private. Much like its competitors, Costco and Sam's Club, BJ's clubs offer special services to members such as car rentals, gas stations, home heating oil, an optical department, propane filling, and vacation packages. These services vary from location to location. By 2008, there were 154 clubs with optical departments, and by 2010, BJ's operated gasoline stations at their clubs. But unlike Sam's Club and Costco, BJ's closed all of their pharmacies by 2007. By 2018, BJ's continued to compete with both Costco and Sam's Club. With membership fees at $55 annually, BJ's boasted an impressive 5 million members. We're talking regular shoppers who paid the membership fees in order to be part of the club. The number smacks of success until one considers that Costco had a whopping 51 million members that same year. That same year, BJ's went public again. They had 215 stores located in 16 states and they entered the Michigan and Florida markets that year as well. By 2020, BJ's operated 216 BJ's clubs in 17 states and employed over 25,000 members. Clubs could be found in Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Delaware, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Ohio, and Michigan. BJ's expanded its buy online, pickup and club service to include fresh and frozen grocery items in October of 2020. BJ's Wholesale Club carries numerous products under its own private labels, including Berkeley Jensen and Wellesley Farms. The BJ's Wholesale Club's chain are still going strong with 249 locations as of August of 2023. So what do you remember about this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.